Hey everyone, my name is Igor and today I'm going to show you how Playground 2 and char prototyping features work in Cube Core. So, here I've got a folder on my local machine with uh, just a few files. Um, as you can see, there are just a few cubes in the model folder and uh, there's this very simplistic docker compose file. Uh, let's run cube. I'm running docker compose up and uh, cube immediately starts. As you can see it runs in the developer mode. Uh, the current version is 0.36.2 and the playground is available at localhost port 4000. So let's go there. And uh, we can behold the updated look of the playground. Uh, as you can see here on the left we've got a side panel with uh, the list of cubes and views in your data model. Um, and uh, if you expand it you will see the uh, dimensions, segments and uh, measures in each of them. As you hover over them you would also be notified that some of the uh, members here are not uh, public, so uh, you will be able to query them in the playground, but you would not via the APIs. Uh, let's try to run a query. I'll compose a query uh, that counts users uh, over over time, and I think I want to add one more dimension in it. As I run the query, um, I can see the results momentarily, and I can also put them on the chart. Uh, choose a visualization that works best for this data and drag and drop the dimensions in here to pivot the data in the best way. One more new thing in the playground is that you can uh, see the generated SQL for this query. So this is exactly um, the SQL that Cube ran against DuckDB to, to get the results that we've just seen. Uh, and there are also tabs for the equivalent queries uh, that you can run to get the same data via the SQL API, REST API and GraphQL API. Um, moreover, you can press the copy button here and then um, press this pencil button to insert this uh, JSON or GraphQL query in this text box and uh, get the playground to um, to be initialized with the query as if you just composed it manually in the UI. So this is extremely useful if you have um, the query in the rest of GraphQL API uh, format somewhere and just you just want to run it in the playground. Um, of course uh, you also have controls to, con uh, to set the ordering of uh, elements in the result set and you can also um, choose to run this query as an ungrouped query. You can choose the time zone from the drop down or set limit and offset. One more addition to the playground in Cube Core is that you can use the code button right here uh, for the chart prototyping feature. So when you press this one, uh, you'll get this model window with the code uh, that integrates Cube with a selected framework and uh, charting library. Um, and you can instantly preview the results. You can adjust them as you see fit. And once you're happy, you can press uh, the buttons right here uh, to download the source code and download the configuration file. Uh, so I'll go back to the terminal and just show you how you can run that source code in your local machine. So in my downloads folder I'll need to switch to the downloaded um, folder with the source code. I will also need to move the um, uh, configuration file right here and rename it to .env and then the only other things that I need to do is just to install the dependencies by running uh, yarn and yarn dev. Alright, so our 
application uh, that Chakra Typing has just created uh, is available by this URL. I can go to my browser, open a new tab, and uh, this is exactly what we've just seen in uh, the Chakra Typing preview. All right, um, that is all for this demo. I hope you enjoy using the updated playground and uh, Chakra Typing in Cube Core. Thanks.